air was filled with smoke and blood. Rome was weak. The tribes grew in strength and number. Their roots went deep, and they felt the Earth's blood pounding through the land. But their borders were threatened, for a great storm raged in the east. One by one, the tribes scattered as seeds in the wind. And behold, a red horse, and power was given for him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. The blood of their kin would be avenged. hunters they tempered their blades in roman blood and saw their once mighty walls reduced to dust they made ready for war the south is in turmoil Distracted by petty conflict and the westward migration of the Huns. Therefore you should look elsewhere for opportunities. Rome has all but lost its grip on Britannia, ever threatened by Celtic aggression, so you should have no trouble establishing a presence there. A well, we don't need more of an intro. Um, so hey guys, welcome back. We're here with the campaign that most people have been asking for, strangely enough. It is a Saxon campaign playing Attila. So, yes, we are preparing for war and it does seem like Britain will be our first stop on our path to glory and conquest. Whether or we'll keep this settlement, I do not know. Um, certainly we're keeping it for now. I do not know whether we will after this. Who knows? If you want me to keep it, then please do let me know. Or whether you should think we should burn it and make, our, make a dash for uh, the coast and away from the Huns, then um, please let, also let me know. I think we could beat the Huns, probably. I mean, all you need is probably like this sort of army, maybe a little bit better troops inside a settlement, and you, let's just watch the Huns try and get inside. But um, yeah, so I mean, I think the first thing we'll do is spend some money on some undeveloped land. Our food is not in great state, we may want to improve that. We do have, obviously, this that we can improve with, and also um, stores. Clearly, we're just preparing for food. We're ready for it. Um, what can we recruit? What um, wise? Um, Nordic levy, Nordic pikes. Could do some sort of swords. Would be pretty handy. Um, I also am debating already. I was just thinking straight off the bat. Probably want to change to some sort of different Christianity. Um, mainly just because it'll be easy then to convert buildings. So I mean, the first thing I guess the first thing we could do is probably go down here. And we could probably start, we're already at war with the Romans, so we might as well just take this. And that's not what I plan to do. But anyway, we've landed. We'll, uh, that was a little bit of a mistake, but hey, we can live with that. And I don't really want any of these mercs, so we'll land first. I don't know if the Romans even have an army on Britain. I think they do, but it's a very, very small one. Um, tech, I plan to go down. Oh, a hunter's camp. Well, that's only if we're in a... a in a horde, I presume. So we won't do that. Um, I think I'll go for... Hmm, I think I will go down that one, actually. Because then I want to get militarized society and get minus 10 upkeep costs for all uh, melee infantry units. That's pretty damn good. Um, and then we've got some better sort of... Uh, s well, ships we can get. And cav. And Rome logistics system. Okay, well... Okay, some pretty good stuff initially. Um... Campaign movement, re recruitment capacity, replenishment. Okay. 
That's some pretty good stuff here, so we'll get we'll get through some of that. Um, I'm probably what's I guess it's artisan's probably the easiest way to build. No, isn't it this one actually? This is the way to build with barbarians. The way to build um, better troops is farms for some reason. Certainly some, but not all. It would seem. Um, really not too sure actually. Artisan. Can we get swords? Pretty sure you should be able to get some swords as the as the Saxons. Oh, there we go. Nordic axe uh, warband. They're pretty. They could be pretty handy. We need a smithy to get that. Well, smithy was pretty quite early on in what you can get. I imagine there's probably some more. I doubt it's in the church, but you can check. Um, won't be in food storage. Communal grounds. Ah, yes. I'm pretty sure communal grounds does provide you with sort. Some sort of uh, warriors as well as the chosen warriors at Hall of the Elders. Uh, heroic cavalry and Nordic Spearmaster. So it's where we want to get down to. Somewhere like down here. Um, again, here wall is keep. You can get them. Uh, it looks like you can just get them everywhere. So if you get a Hall of the Elders, then you get the cavalry as well. So we we'll compla uh, com complain about that. Um, and then over here, nothing new. Um, field furs. Yeah, I imagine nothing there. Uh, yeah. Oh, military. Here we go. Military. Oh, this is just migrating. Well, we're not too. I'm not too fussed about that. Anyway, instead of wittering on about that, um, I think I'm gonna go with. Um. Well, we can't get any cab. I'm pretty sure, can we? No, we can't get any cab. So I'd like to get some pastures so we have some cab, and then I'll put in this to balance out the um. Uh, neg well, the negative public order. Put a bit of that in. It also gives us some wealth. Um, this army, I could just build a load of trash and start taking some uh, land on the uh, European continent. But I'm not really too fussed about doing that just yet. I'd like to make a good base in England. And then if we leave this city, then um, well, we're safe from the Huns, basically. Don't need to worry about them. Um, what's the garrison like? It's pretty trash. Um... Yeah, there's really nothing I want here. I mean, that orange would be quite nice, but not just quite yet. And we're only on 500 a turn, so we can't really afford to. Talking about 500 a turn, let's see if we can get some trade. Um, yep, you'll give us trade. Uh, thank you, sir. Well, I just want your trade. Don't really care about your women. Um, the Franks might give us some stuff. No, apparently not. Langobards. Welcome. Speed. I'm g all these people will probably start to like well, me well, as friend. we all declare war on um, the Romans one by one. They'll all eventually just be like, yes, we, we love you. To you. I'm going to demand this wife. No. Well, then, we won't worry about that. Faction. Let's see. We can't put you in to do anything. I can put you in as a... You can go in as a companion. You can't really do anything. I would like to get you something else. But anyway, we'll uh, worry about that next time. We'll end the turn. Oh, we can still get a provin provincial governor. Um, there you go. You can be the provincial governor, sir. Um, we can put an edict in. Oh, I guess we can might as well build a storage pit as well while we're there. Um, growth might be pretty good. And construction cost. Yeah, let's put that in. Put that in for now. Public order is pretty good. I would like to change everything to Roman Paganism, eventually. But we'll, we'll have to see. We will have to see. Well, I say Roman, Roman, Germanic Paganism we are, not Roman Paganism. That's bizarre. Oh, there you go, there's the Roman army. Might go out and attack that first. Well, I'm... Oh, what happened to the... Uh, it just went down from, like, something to nothing. Did it just get rid of a load of troops? You do... Yeah. Okay, we've encountered the Vandals. Um, I imagine can't do anything with them. Because they're a whore. A good pork roasting for They'll give me non-aggression though, which is all we want. Uh, and I'm going to demand your heir. Uh, not your heir, your wife for my heir. There we go. So we've got her now in charge. That's brilliant. Um, well, not in charge, but... Married to him. Yeah, I can't attack. Didn't think that would be the case. So I'll just take this. Pretty standard. Just take a little settlement here. And cut them down. So anyway, guys, if you are in, enjoying and want to see more of this Saxon campaign, 
please do leave a like and subscribe and uh and a comment if there's any advice you got or anything you want me to do i'm gonna occupy because we're we gonna take these settlements eventually this is part celtic jeez um right just repair that this is what the problem is going to be is like look how much it costs to reform this be easier just to i don't know I'm not sure how that we can get that cost down but, i mean this lego is just made up of trash we could probably deal with that i could do some cav in this army though could do some cav in just about every army um i'm going to hmm what have you got here integrity where's replenishment I imagine it's going to be somewhere down here. Or it's not even on here. Okay, you don't just get replenishment in with these guys. That's not great. Um, okay. I think I'm going to go with... Hmm. Uh, we'll go with food, I guess. And that one. Not really what I want, but we'll go with it. Nordic Levy, are they better than these guys? Nope, they are, they are trash. Saxon Spears are better. Um, so we'll try and keep them alive. We've got plenty of spears. I think they're probably well, they're outmatched. Definitely, the Western Roman Empire won't come deal with us. But anyway, we've uh, we've dealt with we've got our first bit of land. The Caledonians, they might want to they might want something with us. Apparently, got non-aggression already with them. They better not take any of our land. It's just what I'm. It's our land. North, of, uh, everything north of Hadrian's Wall is yours. We have the south. That's how it works. Um. Nordic hurlers. I'd like some pikes, actually. Not yet, though. The economy's just not good enough to even start affording stuff. Um, speaking of economy, is there anyone that will really do anything with us? No, apparently. These people here, we don't know them, but they love us. <laughs> um, so that's brilliant. Um, I guess we end the turn and we just see what happens with this Roman army. I wonder if it'll just go back to Lincoln, or back to London. Or go to Wales. Why not? Wales is a lovely place. Oh, we could build stuff here, though. Apparently, we can build stuff here. Need to convert this place. Convert it to... Uh, I bet they'll attack. No, they're going to go north to Lincoln. And they had another army in Britain that's just fled and gone to France. I mean, that, there you go. I mean, that's historical. Britain did uh, get abandoned by the Roman legions. They did just walk off. Palmyra is already a thing. Wow. Okay, so we've had a... Uh, well, the Makaman's now at war with the Western Roman Empire. I presume that was inevitable. Um, I'm going to go down this one, get the upkeep. Uh, well, like... The discount. Uh, yeah, I can't see the Makaman's, but they're, like, here. Um, I don't have any agents. I've gone, like, a couple of turns. Yeah, I don't know how... I didn't think I had any agents. Um, Alright. Um, let's just build this and then let's put in um, well you probably hate us just because of instability yeah apart from that you kind of actually are not too bad Nordic band well, I presume yeah these are Nordic band oh, okay so we do have like very light swords we have some pretty rubbish swords we might want to get just like mercs probably to fill out oh we actually do have some mercs of our own mercenary Saxon spears Saxon lancers those lances are pretty good, but they're very expensive, so we're probably not going to get that. Talking about, ex uh, well, costs of stuff, we should probably um, get some to deal with, like, economy. Maybe an artisan. Then we could go down this, but at the same time, I'd kind of like a sacred ground. Hmm. No, go with a chieftain's house. There you go. You sort out public order and you get decent economy going. That will work. I kind of want to leave this army here. I would bring it across any other day. But I kind of want to leave this army here just to see whether... A, we can probably strike some of these nations down here. Or... Um, just in case anyone takes it. Because this is kind of still our economy hub at the moment. We really need this. While I don't really need this, for instance. I could also do with this price of this being a lot lower because I cannot afford to convert that. Probably why we're going to need to convert to um, whatever religion these guys are. What religion are the Western Roman Empire? That's a good question. They're Latin Christian. I may need to convert to that. 
yeah, that might need to be that might need to be a thing. So, how much is it? Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a minute. Latin Christianity is going up in our part of the world. Um, I'm gonna just hold off a turn before attacking anyone else. Camadolium's just like, well, Colchester is just not ready. It's, it's not ready to uh, deal with us. We'll also probably have to go north, go and find Lindum and deal with them there. So we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get a battle on this turn. Okay, as expected, there you go. That's why we kept the army in Germany. Because people like the Langobards are going to attack us. We're going to need some cavalry in that army now. So, uh, we might need to do some buying. Okay, they're moving their army to London. Not a bad shout. We could go north to Lincoln then. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Okay, Daesh is all Wow, and the Varanians have already been destroyed. Who are they at war with? We have a food so shortage in Britain. No surprise there. Burgundy. I presume the Burgundians got rid of them. Right, yeah. Can we recruit some Cav now? We can. Uh, medium melee Cav. Very light melee Cav. Um, I'm going to get some Nordic Band. And I'm going to get some Pikes. Um... There we go. Some very light for everything. These guys are pretty trash. Nordic Pikes will be pretty good, though. You can hold the line. Burgundians. Do you or do you not? Well, apparently I can see the Burgundians, but their emblem's not showing up. The guards will Trade. Listen to you. No. Do not pass the day non aggression. Okay, well. That's, that's not good. I'd like some trade though with the Danes, but you know, they don't have any. The Alamans? I have little gain in wasting the day on you. Oh, they're already trading with the Langobards, and I bet you know, the Franks aren't a great fan they of us. Trade well. though? No, they Sleep still would hate to do trade. Yeah, these guys really just don't like me. They're so rude. The Franks are bumming up to the uh, Western Roman Empire as well. That's just a bit unfortunate. Um, so what else is it? Okay, so it's these three. We should probably go after these, th these three first and get ourselves a nice uh, little province going. So let's have a look and see what's going on over here. Minus 25, that's not so good though. How come this is a thing? Food, instability, religious... Okay, yeah, religion. Well, we'll have to sort that out by taking a few more settlements. That's not actually that bad. And he's trying to recruit stuff. Seven... He's trying to... One, two... Well, it's already a seven. I don't know what he's on about. Maybe he's... No, maybe he's not recruiting then. No, he's just... Oh, no, he is mustering. Well. I'm not really going to let you have a chance to do that, sir. Okay, apparently we have no chance. Hmm. How many turns do they start starving? Too many for my liking. So we might go north. Um, I'm going to go back into to Colchester for now, or whatever you call it, Calmadullum. Um, until, like, well, maybe till this builds, I don't know. I'd like to... I could build more troops. Uh, no, actually, we're building a lot in the other army. We shouldn't actually send red. You've got stuff brilliant. You're the governor. So we'll give you... Um... Probably should give you something decent. We'll give you food. Food's always good. I could always do with more food. More food and more men. And hopefully the Langobards come and attack us. Or come and show their face so we can go and attack them. Who, who better not show their face anytime soon as the Huns. I know they can move a long way quickly if they wanted to. Okay, so maybe they're going to come back across the channel now. Maybe they've decided... Oh yes, the Angles won a defensive alliance. That's a turn too late, but there you go. Um, I can see, I can do all that, I guess. There's a lot of rebels already as well. It's a bit worrying. Could be in for a in for an interesting one. Okay, the Jutes. The Jutes really like we us. Have need of talk, I'm sure. That is no surprise we though, because we are all of the same food, sort of group. Shut up! I'm trying to talk about. Well, the Jutes are basically. The Angles, the Saxons, and the Jutes were the ones that invaded Britain, so I'm not surprised that we all like each other. There we go. 500. Friend, a few. Be welcome. 
Yep, I'll take your defensive alliance so no one else can attack us. Military access, there we go. Military alliance? No, I didn't think so. Angles? Welcome, worthy friend. No. You just start to like the Jutes, okay? Because they like us. The Gundians, they probably hate us because we've made like a load of... Yeah, they they hate us because we're now allied with the Angles. So we're making quite a few enemies uh, inadvertently. Should get to like the Geats as well. So it's going to have to be these are, these guys around here. We're going to have to do a lot of killing of some Germanics by the looks of it. But I can live with that. I can live with that. Um, Let's put you just to here. Let's see whether they... Okay, yeah, they do have a lot of stuff. Use my army as a spy. It's 10 or 15. The garrison's going to be probably pretty rubbish here. Yeah, 4. Yeah, I don't think it's... It's not takeable. I don't even have enough troops. But if I had a Roman army or a um, Hunnic army, maybe. But we don't. <laughs> we have neither. Um... Right. I could go north now, but um, I'd really like to change this over. Just get some money in to sort that out, but we can't. There's no one down here that would give us any money. Are the Caledonians? Would you like. We are improving. Greetings Maybe. To you. No. No. You still don't have trade. Um. Maybe I'll recruit. I don't really want to recruit any of these units, though. They're pretty rubbish. These guys, on the other hand, are pretty good. Very expensive, though. Very expensive. Um, Let's go. No, let's go. Hmm. Let's just... I could do with a spy. I could do really do with a spy. But I can't recruit one yet. Uh, I should probably wait till someone else declares war on the Western Roman Empire, then go for them. I'm happy to take this one region off them. Western Roman Empire is definitely... Oh, here we go. There's a Jutes already arrived as well. Not good. I might have to take Lindum straight, straight away then. Because I'm sure the Jutes are definitely about to declare war. And the Franks definitely... Are, well, they're trespassing on my land. Not good. Going to have to deal with them. Here comes the Western Roman Empire with another army. This one's going to come by sea. Okay, that's th that means I can't go for Lindum. And they're just going to raid uh, the Jutes. So that's okay as well. We'll have to do something about that. Imperium has gone up. A mission issued. Objectives. We've got to get a defined... Research the defined army taxation. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure I've already got some missions. Haven't I? Uh, active missions. Here we go. Oh, no. Maybe not then. We should probably look at our missions. Uh, or, like, our end goal. So, what we need to do. Maintain control of Britannia Superior and Frisia. Which I am a part of. Yep. Okay, we can do that. Uh, loot or sack. Two different settlements. Um, research. Ten technologies. Earn income from raiding. Well, we'll have to do some of that. And survive until that date. Well, we can do that. I'm sure. I'm sure we can do that. Uh, well, yeah, we'll see how far we can get with this. We can certainly get a few of these done. For sure. Roman... What was it that they wanted? Roman defined system, wasn't it? Defined army taxation. All the way up there. In nine turns. And they were going to... What did they give me for it? A research. I am not. don't care about your research buffs. Um, I mean this first one's pretty awful as well. Does it doesn't really give me. I'll just go for that one. Just do the two. But our income's all uh, very good now. That's all down to uh, basically that chat uh, with that bit of technology. That's really good. Um, what I'd love to do if I could spend some money on a trade jetty, or just spend it on anything. Right. Um, you've also got money here. Brilliant. Uh, public order. We're kind of good on public order. Squalor. Also okay. We could afford to put in a market store if we wanted. Because I don't really need a meeting hall. The meeting hall is the way you go down to get better troops. In all fairness, it is the way to get better troops. But it costs a lot of food, which we don't have right now. So I'm going to go with a market store because we need a better economy. 
better economy first, and then we can build more troops. And this army is just really threatening right now. The 30th Legion. <laughs> Don't even think the Romans ever made 30 legions. They definitely well, they did have like 60 at one point, and like at the very end of Augustus's reign, but not that many. Um, could recruit these mercs. I'd rather get these guys. I don't know whether it's worth getting this one unit. Uh, is there anything that brings down mercenary costs and upkeep? Probably not for a little while. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing here that just makes me like look and think, yes, we need these. Oh, Nordic Brigade. Replace Nordic Band. Excellent. That's what we need, definitely. And then Nordic Warriors replace Nordic Brigade. Which I'm guessing is what these guys are. Nord oh no, these are Axe Warband. Okay, we can all well we can get them, recruit them actually, out of our own buildings, I'm pretty sure, over here. So we should definitely go try and get them. Or oh, Saxon Lancers, ooh. Yes, there's certainly a building that allowed us to do that. An artisan, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was artisan. Where is that? Artisan. And hey, yeah, Nordic Axe Warband. So we need to get a Smithy. So we need to do one of these. Pretty sure Smithy is along here somewhere. Where was it? Ah, oh, that's annoying now. Um, oh no, we can already get a Smithy. Oh nice. Well, we'll just take somewhere and make an artisan. And then we can start recruiting really good uh, axe warriors. I would also really, really like. I might just for. Hmm. I'm gonna end the turn. I'm gonna see what this Roman. Uh, we can still sign a. Well, I could guess I could put the air in. I could put this chap in as well. Who's he? He's a general. Okay, Hengist is one of my generals. Put Horser in as the Britannia superior. There you go. Then he can sort out. We're gonna put him in for public order. Hmm. Actually, well, if we put him in for that, Germanic paganism. That's gonna improve it. Um. What's the Latin Christianity is also, like, shooting up. I mean, I would like, actually, to convert to that eventually, but, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. End the turn. Let's see what happens. I'd like to just deal with this. Deal with these armies. Okay, the Franks are really just going through my lands and just don't give a damn about... Well, if they're going to do that, I may just go and take them out. I mean, it's not taking them out, but, you know take their land because I need, I need to control Frisia so that's one way of doing it okay the Romans have got a lot of stuff now in Britain I can't take Lindum I could possibly actually attack they want me to join the war against the Burgundians uh, I'm okay for now actually not really wanting to do that I'll uh, stay away from them let's see whether we can attack these Romans get a battle in well, how good is this legion that I can now see? This legion is actually made up of pretty much trash. I mean, these guys are pretty good. And I know for a fact that their um, garrison's not great either. So we could actually probably sneak in there and get them. These Nordic Brigade are pretty awful. Pretty cheap, though. Get them for the sake of it. Um, and I think I am going to recruit these Norse. Oh, no, I don't want the cav. Though I would like some cav. Yeah, that's really hurt my economy, but I'm going to see whether we can attack. Okay. They have... We have no cav. Hmm. It's saying we don't have good odds, but I think we could beat this army, personally. I could have done with, the, done with that cavalry. Right, so we're going to fight this, I think, and we're going to see whether we can win this. And this will probably be where we end the episode, whether we take this or not. And then we could possibly move on to taking London. I don't know. We've got another army to fight. Just whether the Romans get any more uh, people to attack them. I might ask the Jutes to uh, join the war against the uh, Romans. Just get them to uh, basically start harassing um, the Romans in the north. To keep them away from Colchester and London. I mean, if they take Colchester, they take Colchester. I've barely done any work to it. I'm trying to build an economy, but you know, 
it's hard. So, I mean, I think the plan is, got to deal with this Cav, um, and that Onager, basically, probably got to rush them. And we've got quite a lot of archers, we've got a lot more archers than them, so we'll probably, uh, yeah, actually, a lot. Yeah, we're going to have to just use them and just basically focus down any infantry that they have. With a, with a wall of arrows. So we'll do that. So here we go. Uh, we'll wait. Uh, we'll wait. God, this reminds me of Britain. Fog and rain. Yep. Just sounds typical of Britain, to be honest. Um, so we'll put all our archers. See, the balance power is already massively in our favor now. Balance power wasn't so great on the... Uh, there, but it is now. Um, you guys just form like the bulk. Spears on the side. I don't know what my general looks like. He's probably okay. Oh, Nova Warband. Yeah, he's fine. Um, let's just move forward then. Up there. And let's get up this hill, basically. Um, that on a chip. Yeah, that's going to start doing some problems. The enemy approaches. We have more troops. Oh, here they go. They've got now the balance power goes shifting back in their favor. Five hundred man difference. Got to make this count. Um, gonna have to deal with this cav. That's gonna be one of the first things to do. That's where the spears are in charge. Um, just need to make sure these guys are on skirmish mode and on that. Um, move up onto the top of this hill. Oh, keep moving. Keep moving. Attacking our general. Yeah, and he got a good hit. Um, keep moving. Let's just get up here. Why can't... Oh, yeah, we can't see the enemy because we're just climbing a huge hill. Um, yeah, he's going to get a good hit, isn't he? Uh, Could have been worse, actually. Could have been a lot worse. Here we go. Right. Uh, we might as well just, like, rush these guys. Um... Uh, Can you hit these guys? Yeah, just try and kill these guys. Um, spears, kill them. Uh, this has come a bit of chaotic, but hey. Okay, cav over here. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, can you deal with the general, perhaps? Do I have any... Okay, the cab's all broken. There we go. General, it would be better if you didn't die. Um, shoot them. And shoot the general. Yeah, general, you can make a... Oh, actually, you might need to hold the line here. What was that? The Nordic band. Wow. You need to go in there and kill them. And the cab's broken here. Brilliant. Um, can you go and hit? This is going to be difficult because obviously they're so damn good, and it doesn't help that the Onage is doing some damage. So this could be an early defeat. We'll see. Could have done with some nice cav. Could have done with some lovely cav. Um, can you just shoot down the general? I'm telling you, man. Come on, shoot this general down. There we go. Break this stuff. Come on. You can do this. Some utter rubbish. Yeah, they're just happy to... Right, they're out of ammo, clearly. So that's a blessing in disguise. Shoot these guys. Okay, we're winning. Uh, clearly this, this action is very good. Because they are killing a lot of stuff. Like, they've just killed them off. Now they're going to try and finish these guys off. That is the plan. Um, come on, missiles. Get up here. You don't need to be on... Don't need to be on skirmish mode anymore. Right, come on. Um, I need you just to get up here. Ah, you can't. What is this up, up with this hill? Okay, we've broken a fair amount of their stuff, but there's still a lot of break. We're over here. We're holding against the general, but not... Just kill them. 
Oh, I didn't realise we had shield wall because that could have been very handy. Oh, uh, well. Those Saxon spears are actually pretty good. And they're... What are they doing now? They're just peeling off. Need to break that general. Oh. That didn't end well. Let's shoot him uh, and get on skirmish mode now. Yeah, this is going to be close, but... It, uh, I mean, we have the numbers. We have the numbers. Apparently. Can you start shooting over here? Start shooting over here. Shoot in the back. If you shoot that general to pieces, we might actually... Might stand a chance. I say that. It's, all it is is down to this garrison. It's down to this garrison. Oh, there's Mer Mercery Germanics as well. Shoot these guys. Shoot these guys in particular. Don't know how much friendly fire we're getting. That'll be interesting to know. Can you just come over here? If you're going to just stand and let... They're just going to stand there then. That's fine. Um, yep, yeah, they're in. Um, you go back in over here. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, we've broken a huge unit there, though. Come on. Oh, these mercenary Germanics are breaking now. Come on. Then we only have to go and get that general. We'll break these and then go and get the general. Whatever happens, we're not going to have enough men for fighting that second army. Put it like that. Um, these are, yeah, these look. Oh, and they've got, what have they got here? They've got Legio. How have they already got Legio? Come on. And these guys are out of ammo, basically. So they're, they're basically useless. They're just extra. Extra additional crap infantry that we don't really need. You're out of ammo now as well. Brilliant. Can I get you better on another hill? Like here. Now I'm going to move on. Move, move, move. Yeah, we're breaking a lot of stuff. Look, a lot of stuff wavering here, but... Not enough. Not enough. Just pop a rally. Or should we save the... I don't know. I'm going to save the ammo, actually. Hold your fire. I don't know. Uh, shoot here. These guys definitely need some help. It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Go over here. The general's coming back. Might not want to start focusing down on him. Uh, hold your fire. We're going to need to use all your ammo to like what remains of the jet uh, on their general. Yeah, they keep co coming back, but they're just no useless now. Come on. Come on. And these Comatiensis as well. Like, just call it a day, man. I used some ammo on him, but I don't really want to. What are these Javis doing then? Just keep moving. Keep moving. You can't... Uh, actually, go that way. <laughs> Go that way. You can then deal with these. Oh god. Kill them. Focus these guys down. <gasps> There's a lot of that stuff's breaking now. A lot of that stuff is broken. Um, that's brilliant to see. That is brilliant to see. Um, and we'll just break these guys one final time. Right, yeah. All the archers now focused on this general. You run over here. Oh, these guys are just going to die and I don't really need them to die. Actually, just keep running away. Keep running away. Keep running away. Come on. How are these guys not broken up here? This, they're done. They're spent. They are spent. May need to keep some of these units after, though. I mean, that, that axe unit definitely has been kept. They're really good. Oh, I would, could have used their jabbies like now. Oh, well. Um, arrows it's going to have to be to kill these guys um, down here. They are really, really good, though. 
Oh no, that's not so good. Yeah, these guys are going to take a lot of break. What is this? Party the guards. Jeez, these guys are rough. Can you just break these guys? Quickly. Um, we're going to need you over here, please. And you over here. Uh, come on, get these guys in the back. Uh, if you get them on the top of the hill, actually, this is going to be a good spot to get them. They're going to slowly march up this hill. You can form a shield wall. And the archers are out of ammo now, so you might as well just tell them to just do this. Come on, get over it. You might as well charge. There you go, you do that, then you come round here, you might as well just go in here. You keep coming this way. The general's breaking, the general is breaking. He's gone. Huzzah. How did we win that? How did we win that? I really had a moment of thinking, no, we've lost this. But we've just... This Palatina guard just went down like there was nothing. There we go. The engine general's de dead. Can we just finally break the rest of the stuff? These archers are going to be a pain. Can you come over here, please? Um, let's just fast forward. Because it's done now. Wow. I say it's done. This still could go either way, I guess. I have so much... I have, I have my general left. Hengist has done well here. He has done very well. Um, yeah, just force these guys to the edge of the map. Um, keep coming this way now. Come on, come on, come on. Um, we might need to... These Lagio could be a problem. The tide of battle turns in um, all my melee go here. Just form a line. Go and deal with them. You go deal with them. All the archers go and deal with these guys. Um, I would have thought the Legio... I mean, they would break a lot quicker... But apparently not. And they throwed some javies at us. That's not very nice of them. Um, right, yeah, they're breaking just like at the... Now just looking at us. So that's brilliant. Um, and then Hengus just... Yeah, we're going to try and... Well, these guys are actually... Actually, this is the garrison. We should kill some of them. We should kill some of these guys. Right, um, yeah, cut these guys down. Yeah, we need to kill some of these. Hurry up. Hurry up. This is when Cav would be nice. <laughs> I mean, luckily they're all so slow as well from chasing my Javis around all game. Excellent. This is a very nice little victory we got here. Whether the other Legion will turn up and uh, kill us? Um, yet to be seen. 60 of them left. That's still quite a lot. Get it below like 30 or something and then we've got... Then we're talking. How is this? Come on, guys. Uh, a few more, a few more, come on. That'll be fine. End the battle. A Pyrrhic victory indeed. Jeez, that's like one of the closest battles I think I've ever fought. Those uh, axes did really well. I mean, they didn't last very long, but they were did well <laughs> for like the amount of time they were in it. They were in, only in the battle for like a short amount of time. 109 kills. Right, so we should be able to deal with... Uh... Don't think we'll lose any units. We're just going to have a very lot of weak units. Might have to keep those mercenaries on for now. Some of them I didn't really want to keep on, but looks like it's been the case. We're going to take some of the warriors on. The 30th Legion's moving off, and this is... Uh, that is a larger Legion, actually, that's worrying. We're going to have to siege this for a turn. Um, let's do siege towers. Um, I could just... Might be better, actually, certainly with these Nordic band, just combine these... Merge there, and that's there. You go. You got a full unit there. I could now actually probably recruit some stuff, um, like some mercenary Celtic band. Actually, I'll get these Saxon spears because they were good. There we go. Get them in just for now. Um, and certainly I would like some of these other units to replenish in time. That should do. That that's save us for a little bit. Um, and let's see if we can get the jutes now to join the war again. Oh, they already are. They're already at war with the. So yeah, they're in a sticky position themselves. They don't know whether they can go north to deal with that. They could go and take out Kamadulam again, but I'm not so fussed about that. They've got some Nordic Warband in there. Now, um, 
yeah, I'm not so fussed now. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like and subscribe. And go and check out the Papal Legion Discord if you want to join and get involved in battles for the channel or have an influence on future Let's Plays. But until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.